Hi guys, uh, I'm going to show you today how to configure um, IP6 tunnel between uh, two Palo Altos. So I have uh, DC1 here and DC2. So this way that my tunnel will be configured. So the first thing we need to do is to configure a tunnel interface. So if you go to network interfaces uh, tunnel. I'm going to create tunnel 11. Virtual router will be my ISP1. Security zone, uh, create new one. I'll call it VPN. IP address, I'm just gonna use some IP address for my tunnel. In this case, will be 169.1.1.1. I enable ping only because I want to be able to ping between uh, my tunnel and that's it for this All right next thing we need to do is going to configure um, monitor network profile monitor profile I will call this uh, weights recover and just leave it by default uh, in this situation if you have a profile for monitor a uh, weight recover it means that uh, even if the the monitoring is losing it ca can't reach the other side uh, it's not going to uh, pay over it's just going to wait and pretend that the tunnel never been down well, if you if you have a secondary tunnel that you can fail over, you can choose fail over. That means uh, it will remove the routing to for this for this tunnel and can fail over to the other one. Obviously, I'm gonna have only one, and I'll just leave this one. Next, we what we need to do is configure Ike Crypto. So uh, we need to. I'm going to use a group 20, a DH group 20 authentication will be uh, non of. The reason for is because I'm going to use encryption uh, AES 256 GCM. So uh, if you use a GCM encryption, you need to, um, to have authentication as a non alpha. The reason for is uh, if you choose uh, any other authentication, uh, when you try to commit, uh, this will fail. Uh, also, uh, the GCM uh, encryption option is uh, basically uh, it's using uh, out automatically will select the uh, authentication depends of the group that you choose. So if you choose a group 20, the way I'm choosing at the moment, for example, it will give you authentication SHA-384 if you use TH group 19, it's going to give you uh, authentication uh, SHA-256. So because I'm using GCM, uh, you need to leave this as a non of. I'll, I'll give a name for my uh, profile. You call it yes, F6. FDH20. Then we need to configure the IPC crypto profile. I'll call it um, AES256. So I have encryption again, ES256 GCM. Uh, SHA, I'll use 256. Uh, group. I'll have 20 and I leave the rest by default. The next thing we need to do is uh, I gateway profile. I'm going to use I version 2 only mode. Um, the interface will be um, interface 1 1. 
IP address will be 10, 10, 10 one. So this is my uh, public IP address, which is outside here. Uh, peer address will be 20, 20, 20 dot one. I'm gonna type my pre-shared key. Local identification, I'm going to use the IP and you have here your local IP and the peer. Advanced option, choosing the iCrypt profile I just created earlier, leave this by default. If you're using, if you have a NAT uh, before your firewall, you need to click enable NAT traversal. And the last bit we need to do is create the IPsec tunnel. Tunnel 11, I gateway we create earlier, the crypto profile that we create earlier, advanced option, uh, tunnel monitor, so my peer IP will be 169.1.2 and the profile that I created earlier weight recover. This is all you need to do. And uh, our IPsec tunnel is ready. So the next thing we need to do is to create a static root. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to configure the IPsec tunnel uh, using uh, BGP. And this one I'll, I'll do static root. So this is two. Mm -hmm. that's it here and last thing is we need to create our policies so I'm just going to create a policy sec this is one source will be my trust and also my uh, VPN because I'm going to uh, add it both sides. Source address, uh, I would recommend usually to use uh, an object to create object for this. It's much easier and uh, even later if you need to, uh, you know, do some changes to, uh, if using objects much easier compare uh, typing the IP address, you know, directly. Well, in my in my example i'm just gonna add the ip address so we have uh 10 10 10 dot one and the other one will be 20 20 20 dot one because i want to have both direction open destination i'm gonna have thrust and vpn and i'm gonna add the same ip addresses here Application will be IPsec. And like this will be default. Allow. And just put on top for now. And commit. Okay, let's go to the second firewall. Again, let's do the tunnel. I'll do the same one on this side as well.
think. So my network monitor. Crypto. So we have AES. Crypto six. We training. So make sure both sides, uh, everything should match, otherwise uh, you have problem with the tunnel. share key they need to match both sides so everything should match same configuration on both sides okay that is a tunnel Monitoring is going to be 169.111 on the other side, wait to recover and sit. Then uh, we need to do our static route. And now Double check if I done this correctly on this site. Okay. And last bit, we need to do our policy. Destination Okay, and that's it here. We didn't have this. I have everything open anyway for my testing purpose, but I'm just doing this to show you how the the policy should look like. Uh, and just last check here. Okay, it's 2010. Okay, that's correct here. Okay, yeah, I realize I made mistake. 
the big 10 and commit uh, And let me just double check uh, if I miss make mistake here. I have some mistakes. Gateway should be ten and ten here. Okay, let's commit. You can see we have a pink between the tunnel. Also, we can ping from our internal network, which is one pink source 172. 16, 20, 1, 72, 20, 20, which is the other side. You see, we have uh, interesting traffic between both, uh, both sides. And also, you can have a look the tunnel. Since everything is green, you can see the routes for the tunnel. See from uh, DC one is not it's going through the tunnel eleven to the other side. Could be seen here. It's going tunnel eleven. Yep, and uh, that's it. Thank you very much. If you like my video, please like and subscribe. Uh, see you in my next video where I'm show you how to configure BGP uh, on that tunnel. Thank you.